Today I want to talk about something that happened a few days back and that directly involved some accounts, including mine, being compromised. To those of you who aren't aware of the situation, let's start from the very beginning. For months I have been part of a group of plebeians named the Cursed Gang. We had a YouTube channel that posted multiplayer Geometry Dash videos from time to time. The group had 6 members, me included, and for the most part everything went well up until around April 20th, 2022. Now, during this time, one of the members, GD Blackred, who also owned the Cursed Gang channel, was hacked. His YouTube name and profile picture was changed, but none of us in the Discord server were aware until the hacker made an upload on his channel. It may seem intimidating at first, but just from the way the hacker took a dump on the toilet that was Blackred's channel, you could already tell he was a 13-year-old insecure amateur who thinks Linux is a programming language. The hack happened at the time I was about to sleep, and when I saw it, I realized something concerning. The hacker who called himself The Clooper may seem like a poopy pants teenager desperate for attention, but he then claimed that the Cursed Gang channel was linked to the main account. My channel was linked to that channel, and I wasn't going to take any chances. I immediately got out of bed, tired but also determined to keep my private information safe, speed running removing my channel as a manager of the CG channel, and just to be sure, I did just that on a virtual machine and with a VPN. I already had 2FA before the hack happened, but I took even more precautions and added extra layers of security on my account. Uh, some of the other cursed gang members were also unaware of what happened, so they were warned about the situation and how their accounts were under threat of being hacked as well. Within minutes, the cursed gang Discord server was in chaos, people were trying to get Black Red online, and when the hacker threatened to target our Discord accounts next, I decided to add extra security there as well. The leader, Mr. Blackham, was panicking because not only did it mean that the CG channel could be deleted, but it also meant possibly losing monetization on that channel altogether. Mr. Blackham removed our roles and demanded proof that all the members except for Black Red weren't hacked through voice call. I was too tired to speak even the most comprehensible sentence, but I did it anyway. The other members were also in a panic frenzy and trying to unlink their accounts from the Curse Gang channel. It was as if they were on the top floor of a building and Deck Looper was the earthquake shaking them. After a while, Black Red finally came online and everyone started telling him about the situation. He had been banned from the CG server as a precaution, so they contacted him through direct messages. He tried to fix the situation and within an hour, the entire situation had been resolved. He got his account back and he assured us that nothing of value was lost so far. So the Clooper took the L and his dreams of hacking and cursed gang were crushed. The supposed hacker the Clooper had the same douche tuber energy of flexing, except instead of flexing his wealth, which I suppose he had none, he bragged about his ability to hack. He even threatened me directly that I had no idea what he could do, but since I had already added so many layers of security to my account, I was not intimidated in the slightest, and since I had my own experience of actual hacking, I decided to threaten him back, but with a little more legitimacy. I was ready to fight fire with fire. After a while, a user with the same name of the hacker joins the Discord server, claiming to be the Clooper's brother. The user states that the Clooper was actually 13 years old, who hacked Black Red with the intention of taking the money for himself. It was as if the only reason for the Clooper's existence was to take down Cursed Gang, and he wasn't planning to stop anytime soon. Some slight investigation was done and I laid back into my seat on the verge of sleeping as I watched the entire thing unfold. The YouTube channel of the hacker was supposedly found, though I am still skeptical of his brother stating that he would scold the Clooper since he is showing no signs of slowing down in his aggression. He became the persona non grata in the cursed gang server. It's just sad how there are so many children like this who feel like they are hacking masters just because they watched a few Jim Browning videos and then they just randomly decide to attack the account of an unsuspecting person like Black, like Black Red. Piece of advice, if the first thing a hacker does before anything else is to mess around with the profile picture of the, or channel content of another person, then you already know they're stupid. No legitimate hacker would ever make themselves or their activity known the moment they get access to someone else's account. 
from a black hat or white hat perspective, you're not supposed to do anything that could sell you out before you lock the original user out of their account. Only the immature troglodytes do that. And if you want to prevent something like this happening to you, enable two-factor authentication. It's time consuming, but it's better than being vulnerable to people who could access everything in your account just by knowing your password. So as vengeful as it may seem, I do not encourage harassing, harassing the clooper. You can make fun of his sad attempt at hacking, but please don't dox him or send death threats or anything. You'd probably a worse person than the clooper if you did. And I'm just thankful it didn't happen while I was asleep. That's it. Goodbye.